Oh my gosh, if they weren't different colors, it's almost like looking at the twins from The Shining. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Real Drama line and I love these dolls. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Frankie Stein and I am a huge Frankie fan, so I'm really excited for that. I was able to buy these dolls at Target's website for $27.99, I believe was the price. Um, the price does range anywhere from like $24.99 to $27.99, depending on where the listing was. But I know that the release for this has been a mess and very few people were able to get these, or at least I know there's a lot more people that want to get them that haven't had a chance to get them yet. Um, and yeah, it's been a whole thing. <laughs> Claudine and I made a video just this morning detailing the real drama dolls that kind of talks about that stuff, and they talk about some really interesting facts. So I definitely recommend going to see that video after this one. Anyway, um, a lot of these dolls were purchased by scalpers, and they are being sold third party on places like eBay and stuff like that. But I highly recommend that you do not pay scalper prices. From what we have been told, these dolls should still be coming out in stores. So, you know, like keep your fingers crossed, be vigilant and check those websites. If you buy from scalpers, you're only encouraging that behavior. So, you know, try and hold out and try and get these at, you know, legitimate retail prices. Anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. Let's go ahead and take a look at these dolls. Now I did do a live stream on Halloween day this year where I unboxed all four of the dolls. I was able to get two of each character, so I already unboxed one of each. <laughs> um, but if you want to see that live stream, I will link it at the end of this video in the little links that pop up on the screen. But I did mention in that live stream that I wanted to do individual reviews for each of these dolls, so that's what I'm doing now. This is not gonna be as in depth as I went in the live stream, this video is going to be a little different. It will be a little shorter uh, and a little bit more to the point. That being said, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and take a look at the doll. <laughs> All right, so here is the real drama Frankie. So these dolls are inspired by the old black and white Hollywood films. So along the box, you can see like a lot of the lights that you'd see at the theater and everything. And down across the bottom, you see this film reel. Get it? Real drama. <laughs> I've made that joke in all these videos so far. <laughs> But you can definitely see the influence. Oh, and that's a, a movie ticket. I didn't realize that there was a movie ticket for where their name was. That's so cool. Of course, these dolls are all black and white with a pop of color for Frankie. The pop of color is blue. She does come with What's It, a little mini poster, a poster in the back, and a stand. I'll show you all of this once I get her out of the box. Now, I did order these dolls from Target's website. Unfortunately, the way that they decided to package them, the, all the boxes were crushed and they're like ripped. Um, I think. Frankie's got it the worst. <laughs> but that's why I decided to open each of them. Now, on the back, this is one of the coolest things, and I think one of my favorite things about these dolls. I absolutely love this photography on the back, and I really want to cut this out and then use it for something, some kind of scrapbooking or art project or some kind of display thing. But for some reason, Target decided to put a barcode sticker on the back. This one's not as bad as the other box. The other box, this was literally like, over her face a little bit. Um, this is might be sal salvageable because it's only over some of her hair right here, but I'm probably gonna try the hair dryer trick to get the sticker off. Now up in the top right hand corner, there is a little blurb here about the doll and it's in four different languages. At the top, it says it in English, totally shocking. Frankie Stein is stitched with style and this ghoul is ready to make sparks and limbs fly. All right, and here is the real drama Frankie out of the box. The dolls come with this really cool poster with artwork by Darko Dark. You can find Darko Dark on Instagram and they have a lot of really amazing, stunning artwork. Not just Monster High, but I believe other doll lines as well. But I love these posters. They look so cool and so beautiful. Along with the poster in the back, they also have a mini poster for the doll. I think this is so cute and it's just on a little piece of cardboard. The dolls also come with a pet that is 
also in a grayscale, just like the doll is. And here is What's It. I think these pets are so cute. I love that they're just complete recreations of the originals, just done in a grayscale. Here is the original What's It next to the grayscale version. So you can see very clearly what the color difference was. And this is a big difference because What's It originally was very colorful. It looks like their right eye is the same shade of blue, which that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't realize that. Um, but instead of green, the left eye is a darker blue. But that's kind of cool. Rather than giving What's It two of the same colored eyes, they still gave What's It heterochromia, just like they did for um, Frankie. And here is the doll. I think that this version of Frankie is so stunning. I just really like the difference that the grayscale brings to these dolls. It really does change their look. Now, I just wanted to have a little disclaimer. I may have accidentally misgendered Frankie in this video. If I did, please forgive me. I didn't do it intentionally and I won't realize I did it until editing. But here is the Boo original creep production of Frankie next to the real drawing version. Oh my gosh, if they weren't different colors, it's almost like looking at the twins from The Shining. <laughs> now these dolls are so amazing. They have all of the details just in a grayscale black and white. And here you can see side by side that from the bottom of their shoes all the way to the top of their head, these dolls are basically identical except for the color scheme being a grayscale for the real drama dolls and full color for the originals. Like they even have their little earrings in there, but instead of them being like a blue metallic, they're like a silver color. That is so cool. And then of course the little skelet on the bottom of their tie. Now of course another big difference between these two Two dolls besides the color scheme is the hair. So of course the original's hair is black and white and so is the real drama doll but they did also add these streaks of blue for the pop of color but also the real drama doll's hair is so much longer. Like here you can see the original her hair goes down to her knees which I love but <laughs> the real drama doll the hair goes all the way down to her feet and I love that. And if you've been a fan of my channel for a while you know that I'm a huge fan of doll hair so that's something I always talk about in my videos and dolls with long hair like this like super long hair always make me so happy. Also I did want to point out that these dolls do have saran hair just like the originals so there's no polypropylene thank goodness. Also these dolls are fully articulated with all of the same articulation as the original dolls. The only difference is their joints are a lot more stiff than the originals and I'm noticing that with a lot of the newer G1 style dolls. I mean it's not the worst thing because the more that I play with it the more that the joints seem to loosen up. See how it's like resisting going back right there? <laughs> um, but the more that I play with them the more that they loosen up. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna break a peg. That is such a pretty picture. I love seeing them side by side like that. I love this doll line. I think that these dolls are so stunning. The grayscale detail is such a cool twist on the original ghouls and I love how they turned out. I just think they look so pretty. I know a lot of people haven't been able to get them. According to Mattel, we should be getting more of them at retailers. I don't know when, I don't know where, but just try and be patient. Hopefully you can get them at a retail price. You know, just try and hold out. Don't support scalpers. Scalpers are the worst. <laughs> they make doll collecting so difficult and they take the fun out of it, if we're being honest. Anyway, I'm gonna get going for right now because I have one more doll review to do, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments down below if there are any other dolls that you'd like to see me do a review for and I hope I see you next time. Bye! If you like this video you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.